Good evening and welcome to Gray Barn Antiques of Andover, New Jersey. Tonight we are visiting with three vendors and all three are 20% off items not marked firm. Please be sure to check out our about information so you can find out how to purchase any of the items that you see in tonight's videos, our previous videos, or on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Here is our contact information which I said is also available right up in the about us information. Andover, New Jersey is in Sussex County. It is the, I don't know if Warren County or Sussex County, but they're both far up north uh, before you get into New York and Pennsylvania. And we are open all year round and you can shop us 24 seven every Wednesday night at 5.30. We do a Facebook Live. So I do pull for that items that have just come in from our many vendors and things that I think are a really good bargain. So it, it gets, we get a lot of people on those and we do ship a lot of those items. So this is our schedule. I just put this up so for people who come into the shop and are wondering why I keep scribbling all these vendor codes and names up on this blackboard, they will now be in the know. So adding more competition to the YouTube shopping. So we're going to go and visit with Auntie's Attic and Vintage Crush first in the case room where they have shelves in the locked case room. So I'll try not to spin this around too much. And of course, if you see anything else in this video that caught your eye, please do not hesitate to reach out and to inquire with us. And if you don't do social media and you don't want to message us that way, you can email us at graybarn at graybarnantiques.com. That's gray with the E. If you could please indicate at what portion of the video you saw the item that you would like more information on, please let me know. You can also call us during business hours, 973 786 Five 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 five, or after business hours, please feel free to leave a message. So let's dive in. As you can see, last night I did feature uh, Betty's treasures, and at that point the black light was burnt out. Don has put one in since. We are going to, when he has a chance, he's going to hook it up to the top so it's not blinding us when you look in there, because you can see these other ones not quite as bright. So we've got some custard uranium grass from glass from uh, Fenton. That's a nice deal. Just thirty-eight. Uh, $28 after the discount. So you're going to take that 20% off. That does have the Fenton label in it. You can see a nice piece of hobnail there. Cranberry glass. Mary Gregory decanter for $48. And what's great is some of my vendors, I have a couple of them that actually put the measurements of everything on, even not just the furniture, but the smalls. So it makes it fantastic when I'm doing these videos for you. And so you can see more of the information on the tags and not have to Try to figure out what size that it, that it is. So $12 on that nice perfume bottle is a nice custard basket back there for $44. This is a, um, it's got a little chip on the top on the hat. And that is in the style of Miss Prissy Lefton cat. So this would have been a hobbyist piece that you would have done at the ceramic uh, place and uh, painted that. And that one is $48. Oh, so we have a little fairy lamp here for just $28. Now this will be flash glass. These were... Um, often done, is this one flash? Maybe not. The Indiana Glass Company was famous for that. I'm not seeing, yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of paint loss there. Now, very often, uh, Indiana Glass did the red over their amber, which was not, the amber was not flash, but the red that they put over it. So it gives it more of an orange look to it. This one looks like it was put over a clear glass and it's just kind of picking up orange from the light. This is a really neat perfume bottle. We did feature this the other night on the Facebook Live. Nobody gravitated towards it that night, but here it is. You can see it has the nice dauber. I really can't get it out. Uh, 48 on the pair of poinsettia hull towers. There's a chip on the flower. You can see that right there on the salt. And that's 48 and then 20% off on that. There were a bunch other Christmas salt and pepper shakers in here. They have since gone. And last night I showed you on Reloved with Heart, we had a elf here and a Santa bank. The Santa bank, both Santa banks from these two vendors, I had questions on. So those might both be sold, but the elf did leave the shop today. So please do not hesitate to reach out and purchase directly from the YouTube video. Because keep in mind, you have competition from actual we're brick and mortar so we are open five days a week so we do get a lot of customer traffic that way as well as Facebook and Instagram so you yeah, gotta jump on some of these deals we did Andover Junction last night and tonight we are with Vintage Crush also a 20% off vendor and her vendor code is Leah and Auntie's Attic was 82 so you take 20% off so this would be $48 on that and 
there was, last time we did a video of her shelf case, there was a large Yadro Eskimo here that did sell during our Christmas in July event, which was this past weekend. We are now going up for our August event, which we call August Rush. And that will be in just a few short weeks. 16 on the 2005 Pewter Fairy Trinket box. It's got some nice weight to it. And a nice little two and a half inch Beaumont Brothers Pottery Salt Glaze Hen. It's a little tiny guy. Let's see, it's been signed on the bottom. Tiffany Decanter for 48. We got some great uh, cut to clear uh, per, um, jewelry compacts. We will be doing our third Facebook jewelry live tomorrow night, which is costume jewelry and some sterling silver. And that is at 6 p.m. Saturday night, July 22nd. And if you check our Facebook events page, excuse me, hiccup, we will be doing those twice a month. So we're gonna go to Vintage Crush first because it kind of makes sense to come back to Auntie's Attic from that way because we'll just loop around right to Auntie's Attic's two bookcases here. So, oh, I just wanna show you really quick. Last night we did visit with Reloved with Heart. Dawn spent a good portion of today redoing her booth, making a little more of an easier flow and you can actually appreciate this desk a little bit more because you can see it right here on the end that hutch really pops on that back wall it had been on that wall but moved it there so when you walk up you do see that right away so that is reloved with heart we're going to go in here so we can turn around and you can see vintage crush and vintage crush is a full-time nurse so she's not able to get in as often as she would like to because you know everybody would rather be doing this than what their other jobs are uh, so she has not really been able to fluff and bring in a lot of stuff since this past weekend and she did sell quite a bit of stuff this past weekend so and we did tell them to leave the christmas stuff in because it is still selling and she is 20 percent off as well so we have some nice artwork in here it's a little bit of everything and you take the 20 percent off the lowest price as long as it doesn't have that word firm which this 80 dollars does not so you'll take the 20 percent off of that She does have some vinyl as well. Unusual wood masks, $20. And you see she's got the measurement right up in there, which helps us see what's going on. Ooh, some patches. I know people love patches. And that one's three and then twice. There's two patches in there, so 240. What is that one? So this is Avengers Camp, 320. And there's some little airplanes in here and a lot of cookie cutters so and those are you see the price is there nice glass eclectic mix of everything so we've got these are four inch tall there are four of these available each one's slightly different because they are hand blown so this is ten dollars on each of these little stretch c bubble mini vases there are three of these santa planters available these are vintage and they are five inches tall and they are $24 each, made in Taiwan. So these would be 19, late 60s, 1970s. This has got little cherubs all over the bottom of it. Nice little pot metal holder here with a brush of brass over it. That is 32. Native American art, uh, Pueblo pottery here, uh, 640. We've got Oops, you know what? I just saw that button jar goes back in here. This was, I had this one up Wednesday night, no no interest, so it goes back in the booth, and Don put, we, he helps me put all the stuff away the day after, as we call it. So this mannequin head is for sale. So 48 baskets, books. And again, if you need information, close-ups on anything, let me know. I will get that for you. I just do not bend that well. There's the tag on this. So this says it is eight inches of ivory lace with small floral unknown length. So $14.40 on that. So you can get an idea of the amount that is on there. A lot of knitting books and stuff down there. Okay, I'm gonna step back a little bit just so we can see everything in the corner before we go in for our close-ups. And again, this is Vintage Crush, 20% off. And many of these items are quite shippable. 
that does not include the holders on that. I do believe she does have these cup and saucers holders are separately priced. So $12.80 for the cup and, and saucer holders. So these sets, this one's uh, $20 and then this set would be $28. This cute little paint, a uh, little oval picture here, $16. Fuzzy head business card holder, holder, $12. Yeah, there you go. There's where you put his little business cards right there. And that's a nice rooster teapot there. It's a, kettle, it's a kettle. Poppy trail, 32. How nice is that? I like that. Very cool. So if you have poppy trail, you like roosters. No blue in that. 13 half inch white cake plate, Pampered Chef for 12. Pampered Chef, it's very, uh, it reminds me of Fiesta, so you can, don't forget you can mix. That's the nice thing with Fiesta where in any of those kind of solid print dishes, and it has like the ribs on it here, but you can mix, you don't have to, everything doesn't have to be the same brand, it doesn't have to match, it's a fun thing with plates. And I see a lot of people doing that with florals, they'll get all different florals, it's a lot of fun. We have some Cherish Teddies down here with the boxes. We have a great selection of books in the shop and the prices will be, as I've mentioned in the past, located right in the front with a post-it note. $12 on Pepe Le Pew and, and Flower, what's her name? Penelope Happily Ever After. So nice cute little wedding picture frame. These I thought were adorable. And they're $1.60 for the pair. And these are nice old little guys. They hold the smaller candle. Christmas corsage for 12. Some ornaments still left couple pieces of the Christmas leftovers from this weekend, 24. It sells all year round. So 20% off on that. I didn't get a chance to look at what this little guy's doing. 10 inch Godolene by Rosamel Canister. Anthropology exclusive, so 39 and then 20% off. Now we're gonna step back and come look at this cabinet here. This is not locked, so if you are, if you come in to visit, you most certainly may open these doors to get anything out that you wish to purchase. So let's just open that so we can avoid the glare. It's a nice little piece of pewter here, and she's reduced that from 20 to 15, and then you're gonna take that 20% off the 15, making that $12. Syrup dispenser with acorn finial, $12. That's a nice piece of pewter right there, very cute. That is not a dent, that is, as you can see, it is the shape of the syrup. So $7.20 on that interesting I guess it would be a bud vase because it's a small opening. It looks like lab equipment, but we've got this fancy little swirl through there. My big hand in the way. Let's get you out of the way. And black amethyst vase, crane and cattail, silver overlay, $36, 11 inches tall. I'll just take that out for a sec. Wow, that's very light, very dainty. So you can see that slight purple to it. You'll see that in the light, and it's an amethyst black. So when we put it back down, and that's silver overlay, when we put it back down, it's out of the light, it appears to be black. So that's that black amethyst, which is really just a gorgeous glass. He's a cute little guy, aren't you? $12 for that cutie, four inches tall. That's flash glass on that. So would you recommend you wash that in warm water, not in the dishwasher, the goblets? One in the front is 12, and one in the back is 1440. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go check out this spot right here. I'm gonna step back just a hair so we can get a better feel for that. Sorry about the camera work. This lamp, I can't believe, is still here. Where's the tag on this guy? Oh, here we go. This is a, it's adorable. It's a little kettle. Wow, she's marked it even further down. Even at $16, I thought it was a fantastic price. Now it's just 
So that's like a little toll one down there and it's even got this old shade on it. So that's a very good deal. Can't ship that though, sorry. Contemporary blue ring holder with box 1440. There's another, there's another hand over there that doesn't have the box. That's a nice print for $38. Just look at that frame. Got some nice big flower frogs here. This one is a three inch 11 hole for eight. And this guy is 960, five inch 13 hole. Cute little set of cordials just reduced from 25 to 16. So that would make those $12.80. Some pretty scarves and you always have to look up. She just brought this swan in for $60. 16 inch carved and painted solid wood. Very cool. You might remember there was a, a steer head over here, um, towel holder that has since sold. So we like to go through and I try to do this once a month because of a lot of new to gray barn, but vintage comes in. Most of our vendors are in some as many as two, three times a week, if not more. So there's always stuff changing as well as you see that they do change the prices. So if something might have been a little bit more than you wanted to spend, well, come back and check it out. It might have gotten marked down a little bit. Peggy Car Glass, which no longer is in business, it was right here, located right over in by Denville. And that's 23 and 20% off with the box. I still like going there. I never did the tour. I wish I had done the tour. 16 on that pie plate, but we used to go into the the shop itself and I got my my one aunt uh, some pieces from there a great place to get gifts now we can come to the gray barn and thrift a lot of great finds and treasures in here so I you know I I, I do buy probably every day I buy something <laughs> what I do though is I ring it up as I find it so this way it doesn't seem like I'm spending that much instead of buying it all at once I just kind of spread it out so I'm not look seeing how much I'm actually doing the damage I'm doing for the day a neat little thing here's interesting ginger jar type thing it's like lidded vessel for 24 she's got a bunch of these vintage hole USA sugar caddies for eight dollars I know a lot of people love to use these for uh, business card holders so if you're doing shows and stuff that's fantastic it's not going to blow away if it gets windy you're doing an outdoor show wonderful little extra holders there they're all so great as what they say they are sugar caddies for your your splenda and sweet and low packets perfect for that and there's four of them at eight dollars each so if you're having a, an event or something how fun you can put one for splenda one for and you can have and one for uh, sweet and low and have them at all the different tables if you need to cute 640, that's a very good deal for that little guy there. I'm getting attacked by a fly now. It was one the other day we had a fly in here and I called him our Walmart greeter because it was one fly. Every person that came up, this fly just kept flying right into everybody's face. So I, I was calling him the greeter. Not the greeter I wanted, but that's cool, $40. That's pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna take a step back because we're gonna check out this cabinet here that's lot chock full of goodies as well. And I'm gonna straighten up this shade because that's bothering me right now. I could say, well, maybe not. I think I have to get up there with the ladder and fix the harp on that. So again, this is Vintage Crush, 20% off. We will wrap up tonight with Auntie's Attic. How pretty does that look with those little birds on there, that nice book. Look, she's reduced these guys to $12 now. Very cute. These just came in, nine sixty each for the wood goblets. I believe this is a print that looks like an oil painting, and that's just twenty four dollars. Because I've had several people, say, oh, I want that oil painting, not an oil painting, but it looks like one. And unless somebody goes up and starts touching your paintings, they will not know. That's a nice decanter for just seventeen sixty. It's a nice old flow blue for 32 each. Beautiful blue glass for 24. Got a lot of great little cookbooks in here too. A lot of things, unfortunately, you guys never see because some of the stuff comes in and goes right out same day. She had these unusual colored blue goblets that sold as soon as they were brought in. They were just amazing. So we try to take pictures of the booths and get up YouTube videos so you can see 
all the changes and the stuff coming in, especially for our people who can't get in all the time or that we ship to. So we try to keep you all knowing and seeing what's going on here at the Gray Barn. We are a 3,600 square foot multiple vendor shop. And other than our general store and our train vendor, all of our vendors are at least 20% off as long as it does not say that word firm. That's this cute little wood box here for $10. It has a single little drawer here. It's got this great old chippy paint on it. And for your New York Yankees Christmas tree topper, how much is that? $8. Just brought this in. I did feature this box today on Instagram and Facebook. It has all the, uh, and she actually has the measurements on the tag, which is wonderful. It's $12. It's clearly a little handmade box for somebody. I mean, everything on here is all little things they might have had sitting around. Clearly, let's see if we can get this open. It needs a little oil on those hinges if you want to open it easily. They had some kind of tool or something that sat in here. This was crafted just for whatever their special needs were. And that's just $12 on this. And I love this green. It's just got such the perfect amount of chippiness. It does have the clasp that works. Like I said, if you want it to open easier, it does need a little bit of oil on the hinges. Otherwise, just leave it as is. We do have a lot of frame. We have frame, uh, pictures that are framed, but we also have frames floating around sometimes. So this one's just $8. And again, we have measurements. So this is this nice 1960s, late 50s white kind of frame. A lot of blue and white display here. And pretty much all of her furniture is also for sale. So this was Vintage Crush. And now we're going to segue right over to Auntie's Attic. And we're going to start over here with her two bookcases and wall space. So she's been bringing in a lot of Tupperware. It's been going right back out. So if you want prices on any of these things, please let me know. So the lidded dish here for $8. I don't bend very well, so let me start straightening up here. Fenton Ruby Hobnail Compote, six inches tall, 1760. And that is Ruby glass. It is in the glass. It is not splash. Okay, so that one is 1760. selling a lot of little piggy pig banks so they're a lot of fun never have too many pigs I actually just got pig water socks for the house because we do have a problem with uh, flooding in our downstairs area of our home which is also our living space so supposedly these soak it up which is why we we're supposed to have rain again today and now that we're kind of prepared for it before we find where the leak is it's not gonna rain and tomorrow is not just sunshine it's abundant sunshine so I'm happy about that. So, because that requires getting out behind the sheetrock and finding out where the issue is and getting it waterproofed again. So, the joys of home ownership, especially an older home, these are pretty. So, these are a set of, it's the pitcher and the glasses for 36. Cute little. Pudgy little creamer here for $7.20, a little chubby cow. He's got a lot of crazing on him. He's very cute, no marks. Get some more cookbooks and booklets. We got some rotary phones left still. She's had quite a few of them. They do sell fast. Here's a wall phone in the beige for $19.20. I got this one here, also the same price. That's a nice bean pot. That is $28. That's very nice. I like that. The rolling pin rack holder is not for sale they are displays check out this copper display holder it comes with a few of the the hooks it has uh six hooks and two screws 48 dollars 30 inches long and then that is also 20 percent off so and then this little shelf has a lot of a lot of little trinkets so we're going to come around now and we're going to enter auntie's attic which is we always tell you guys you have to look up you have to look down and you have to look all around and in between because our vendors use every inch of space as do we just to show you quickly the lanterns for the shop the, they're all up there so we try to hang the birdhouses up there too so this is auntie's attic we'll mix it up a little bit usually i come in on that side i think tonight i'm going to come in on this side and she did acquire more blow molds this week so those will be making their way in as well you might have remembered last month Mr. and Mrs. Santa were up there. Well, you can, or was it just Santa and a snowman? 
regardless, there were two larger blow molds up there and they are both gone. So they have since been purchased. Get your jump on the, your blow molds that you're gonna need this Christmas time. This is a nice little set for $24. There's uh, three of them. They are tin. And she brought in a lot of great tins this week. Not an old sign, but fun, and that's just $8. Got a lot of great milk bottles in here from all over. Let's see, this guy's just $12 and it's in really good condition. This one's nice. This is a party tonight. Serve cream top dairy ice cream. Also for banquets, soup, uh, church, supper, schools. Let's see the front of this one. You never outgrow your need for milk. Drink three glasses of cream top dairy milk daily. And it does have a pog on the top. This one is 25 and then this will be $20. Let's see. Check out this great wagon that she just brought in. It was brought in for the Christmas market and has stayed because it's just a, such an adorable thing. It's the Victor, it's wood. It's got this great patina on it. $100 and it's 45 by 18 by 14. It does have some rust on it. And did my video get stopped because somebody's calling me? You've got to be kidding me. Or it didn't. Okay, good. Sorry, I'm on my, my uh, cell phone and this message comes up flying on my screen while I'm trying to do this that somebody's calling me. And it definitely was a spam caller. So it said my call will, my video will continue after I take the call. So I just got a little concerned there that it just interrupted all this work I've been doing for the last half hour. So this is 16. She did have two other, uh, she did have another butter dish here that sold the other day that was milk glass, as well as a false graph on the other side that has since sold. So butter dishes are very popular. I think a lot of people break them because so we do sell a lot of butter dishes. This is cool because this is. Wow, this is a really neat little set. Jam condiment Franciscan wear chips on lid, 28 and then 20% off. You look at it and you think it's gonna be plastic, but it's not. How fun, wow, that's an old stamp. We're going old school. And it has the holder, very cool. So yeah, I can see a little chip here. Toaster. 25, so that becomes 20, works. Yeah, we have a lot of people that like the older tools. This is nice. I turn that 30, so that'd be 24 for the ice bucket. 12 by eight. Some nice yellow wear with the stripes. So yeah, so get back to this wagon after I was so rudely interrupted by a telemarketer. I just want you to see how cute this is. These are just, you can use these all year round. I do not recommend putting this one outside unless it's under a porch. And it's just, they're just so, Great for vignettes, displays, whatever you want to put into it. It's an adorable coffee table if you wanted to. Blanket, log holder. They're just so, they just have so much character. And it does turn very well because I was, I was the one rolling it in and out this weekend. So I did get, I get to practice and play with it. Let's see how much this Tetley tea container is. That's a nice deal, $7.20. We got the Charles chips. We got a nice Chanel bedspread with without fringe for uh, $36. This is 104 by 88. She's got granny square afghan. We've got some quilts, a log cabin quilt with the measurements, and that is 56. And we've got another one on the bottom here, 96 by 80 for 120. So if you want more information on those, just please reach out to us and we will get that for you. I will have Don assist me fully opening it if you need to see more pictures of those quilts. So, let's see how oh, this is interesting. This is 24 and then 1920. So it's got a little chippiness to it. Got a little flaw there in the glass. Nothing made. It's old. Shutters are not for sale, but all the items on those shutters are. You can see a great assortment and collection of vintage kitchen accessories. Said you gotta look up all the time in here too. If you come to visit us, don't expect to just run through. If you 
like smalls. You'll be in here for quite a while. And again, this is Auntie's Attic and you are taking that 20% off items not marked firm. Now this is a bell that you have to hang. You can see that this portion doesn't sit. So 32 cowbell with the metal hanger. This one cake bump plate, a dish. And that is 1440. I saw somebody doing something with those the other day and it was a swan and they had it for a bit more than that. So check out Pinterest. Don't, I know everybody's on Instagram and everything. Now don't forget about that good old Pinterest because that's where you get a lot of great ideas. Because the nice thing with Pinterest is you just go to the top and you could just say, you know, vintage uh, cake displays and uh, cake pan displays and stuff like that. And it, it really hones down and shows you some really great ideas. This is the Pyrex. And you can see it's in light so we can kind of see some of the damage on it where the paint loss is. She has these little Pyrex Scrabble tiles that are permanently on there, and that's $12 for that one. She also has the block ones. We will get to those shortly. I forgot to go down there, didn't I? So you gotta look everywhere in here. I'm even doing it. Well, there's a big, does that have a lid? You can't quite see what that says. I'm just gonna show that tag and you can that's a nice big pot up there. It's also a rocking chair. And now I'm pulling in the wires. Oh no. All right, I got out of there. <laughs> All right, here's one of the set of the Pyrex blocks. And those are, uh, this one is 1920 for the colored one. Pyrex measuring cups. Small one for 1280. And we have this one for 1440. Primary set as is, 95 and then 20% off. We can see there is some paint fade on that. So, I remember, most people use their Pyrex, so it will show some wear. There are some people, you might find a box still where they got it as a wedding gift and just never used it and put it away. Those are hard to come by, but they do exist. It's the Amish butter print for 225 and then 20% off on that. Another Pyrex block. This one is $14.40. Cute little wherever coffee pot, two cup for $36. That's an unusual Pyrex piece right there with the tulips with the lid, casserole. That's garden medley for $56. Again, we are currently visiting with Auntie's Attic. Behind me, so I can go back a little bit so we can kind of see what we have over here before we go in for some close ups. It's a cute little brass mini log holder for $12. That's nice. I like that. It's very cute. It's a very cute centerpiece. Uh, you can put flowers and stuff on it. Very cute. I like this potato chip tin that just came in. 36, it's a larger one. They're, it's a prize. They're f not just flavored, they're flavorized. There's a new word for the day. And again, this is Auntie's Attic, take 20% off. Cool Christmas tree stand, right? Twenty dollars. Very cool. Twenty-five sixty on the train case. Cute little oak desk for sixty. Now the cat has an eye issue. That's why he's twenty-eight dollars. The nesting cat is missing one eye, and then somebody colored in the one. This bird cage. And you can see she also has the black light here for more of her uranium glass. So 
beautiful Westmoreland, Formalities brand porcelain, avocado glass. And in the background there we see on second thought. Like I said, I'll be making my way through everybody's booth before the end of this month. I was bad in June, but I have gotten back on schedule once more. So all the furniture in the center of her booth is for sale. Many of the pieces along the perimeter are as well. This is cute. Look at this guy. $14.40 for the little 11 by 5 and a half brass watering can. It's a nice tiny size. Nice oil lamp. I had 28. I have people looking for these Ellie Smith on the bottom. A lot of great lamps. Currently the only coat rack in here is that one. A lot of things do not last too long in here when they come in. So let's check out the tag on the coat rack. So 95 and then 20% off and there are the measurements. It's the wood with the porcelain on the end of the knobs, and you also have peg hooks down here. To open that box, this is an interesting little box here, a little chest, 60, so that'd be 48. There's a firkin, a footed firkin. Just love that word. And that's 44 for the sewing bucket tripod firkin, 25 by 12. Let's see what that looks like inside. Let's see. Oh yeah, so you got your holders on the side here. So this one is all set up for your sewing goodies. Box for 12. I do know this does have writing inside of it and scribbling. Unfortunately, they scribbled on it, but this was a syringe box and that is $12. This is actually porcelain to look like it's enamel. Fooled me when it came in, and that's 28, and it'd be a planter. Acorn topped with the acorn rim, aluminum, and wood handled top 24. Does not have any locking ability on it. All right, so this is Auntie's Attic. We visited with Vintage Crush, and now we're gonna head back to visit with Thrifty Rick, who has two bookcases in the back of the shop. A little long video tonight. I thank you for your patience with staying with us. This is all uh, redreamable on the back wall here. Again, you don't have to purchase just from the vendors that we're visiting with. Anything that I go past, you're more welcome to inquire about any of the items that we show in this video or our past videos. So Rick is also a 20% off vendor. Some nice Coca-Cola items just came in. Collector's mug for $6.40. This 1970s, late 60s ceramic football player has been reduced to 10, so that would be $8. They do, it's always off that red price. Some ornaments, jumbo there for $9.60. The little green guys here are eight. This is for all four bottles. These are the Olympic bottles, collector series, 960 from the 1980 Olympics. Are they all women's speed? Now here we have the men's cross Nordic skiing. We have the men's speed skating and what is on this one? Nordic skiing, cross country. Some cute Smurf glasses here. We have Harmony Smurf and Clumsy Smurf. And those are just $4.80 each. A lot of great Coca-Cola glasses in here. Some Christmas from this past weekend. That is what you're seeing, $4 on that silver plated tray back there. A little more Christmas mixed in. And again, please do not hesitate to reach out to us for pricing. This is an interesting silver plated tray with the glass insert, and that's just $6.40. I'm feeling a little bit of flea bites there. Let's see, 640 on the Canadian Club Whiskey. 
This is a wood duck candle holder. It is signed on the bottom. It is just $4 for this really cool carved wood duck. And it's not very legible, but there is some information on the bottom about this duck. And we have one other wooden duck left in his booth. This one does not have any writing on the bottom. It's just $5.60 for the painted duck. Some great old Avon bottles still in the boxes. Some great Minton package action figures. A whole lot of mugs down here. And again, any of the prices that you can see, you're going to take that 20% off. Wonderful pig collection. Some cute little Harlequin type dolls, jesters. And there are 14. This one's 1120. That one back there I can see is 960, but I can get more information for you if you need it. This huge teapot is just eight dollars. And silver's on the outside. We don't have any on the inside, so that is quite usable. This is a large, it's got a lot of heavy weight, and I can't quite read what it says on the bottom without getting putting the phone down. I really don't want to do that. So you don't have any silvering inside so you can most definitely use this it's not on the spout so you could definitely use this as you can see it's clean inside i don't think it's been used keep in mind though if you have any arthritic conditions or anything with your hands and you're not able to hold heavier weights this is heavy without any liquids in it so i do not recommend it for use if you have uh, issues with your hands it's a beautiful decorative piece it would be adorable with flowers in it. Take the lid out. I put the lid away. Keep never get rid of your lids if they're in good condition. So when you get tired of it, you can clean it up and you can resell that or use it for its intended purpose. Great old little uh, belt buckles, just four dollars each. They half price those, and you're taking that twenty percent off. We have a Volvo and a, a Winchester uh, repeating arms belt buckles. I think they both have their little hooks intact. So, so yeah, so quite functional on those. The Wood Carved Man from 1966, he is just $6.40. Looks like he has a headache going on. So I got a hand wrote on the bottom of the year, 1966, and it's signed down there, and that is hand carved. That's a great deal for just $6.40 for a piece of hand carved. Beauty and the Beast a collectible egg from Fabric Franklin Mint is $12. So this part is glass. And that is Thrifty Rick. He has these two bookcases back here. So. All right, we are going to head back up front and get ready to sign off. And you can see I turned off most of the lights in here. They also have this uh, print. I did turn the lights off up here, but I think we still can see. This is also from Thrifty Rick for 60 So. So that was a Mac Show Antiques down there. We can see that information. With this pretty print and that is framed and ready to go home with you fire extinguisher not for sale that is functional that is our fire extinguisher so I'm gonna try not to twirl the camera too fast and again anything you're seeing in this video you are more than welcome to inquire about as well this cute little piece is a nice antique and just came in it does have some cosmetic issues and that is $48 and you can see there's some uh, blackening on the mirrors. It's a cute little cabinet. It does have a single drawer on the bottom. So it'll be a cute little restore project there for just $48. And that is out of Burning Sensation Antiques. And we're passing Regimable on the light on the left. And I'm gonna duck in here and get these lights since we're going past it anyway. And you can get another quick glimpse inside Vintage Crush. Check out this lamp again. That's just what would we say? I couldn't believe the price on this. $11 and 20 cents. So you can see how dark it gets in here. Super lamp, very nice and bright. We love with heart on second thought. And we're gonna head back up front again. And I'm just gonna go over here again. And I'm back in the air conditioning. All right, so that was Auntie's Attic, Vintage Crush and Thrifty Rick. And here is our contact information again which is also available for you right up in our About Us information. If you have not done so, please be sure to subscribe to our channel so you're alerted to new content. If you're on any other social media, please be sure to like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're on Facebook, you definitely wanna jump into our various uh, Facebook Lives that we do. Wednesday night is a hodgepodge of everything in the shop and that's at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And this Saturday night will be our jewelry sale.
So thank you again and have a wonderful weekend.